when I say we should stop consuming, I don't for a moment suppose that we're going to live in a world where no consumption takes place. I mean, or we're going to live in a world where population growth is instantly halted. Uh, there are more than one, there's more than one way to force novelty out of a system. And simply repetitiously breeding, that's a habitual activity. And it does force a certain kind of novelty, but it's a novelty born of desperation. M my notion is that you get much more novelty out of a system if every person is valued, if every person has leisure time and opportunity for education and this sort of thing. Uh, the ingression into novelty doesn't necessarily mean an endless expansion of an inventory of available tchotchkes. It means a, a, a vertical integration of all of uh, these possibilities. So I, I think we are going to elaborate more technologies, more connections. Uh, there are going to be all kinds of unusual configurations generated. But to simply suppose that we have to continue in the direction we've been going, uh, I think is a mistake. Capitalism is not a human-friendly meme. I mean, capitalism will sell the ground right out from under where you're standing. It, is been, it has developed a rapacious appetite for its own survival at the expense of human beings. Some memes do this. I mean, fascism was a meme so virulent to the human agenda that major outbreaks of it, the whole planet halted what it was doing and stomped it out. And now we have residual outbreaks here and there. Uh, but uh, in, in terms of the aggression into novelty, it isn't a matter of human decision. It's happening around the clock. It's unstoppable. The, the cultural experience is becoming more and more psychedelic as it becomes more and more translinear and uh, post-Newtonian. Literally, society is entering into a kind of hyperspace or cyberspace, some people call it. I think of cyberspace as the literalization of hyperspace. One is the platonic goal, the other is the human artifact that seeks to realize that goal. But definitely the cascade of novelty has now reached such an intensity that you have to be very lumpen indeed, I think, not to see it happening, especially if you live in a town like this one, for crying out loud. And this is the concrescence of the concrescence here. <laughs>